ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜி ஆர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் மை கொஸ்டின் இஸ் இன் ஆர் டே டு டே ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் வி டூ மெனி ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் லைக் வி பெர்ஃபார்ம் மெனி ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் பிஃபோர் பெர்ஃபார்மிங் த தாட் விச் அரைசஸ் இன் ஆர் மைண்ட் இஸ் இட் அவர் தாட் ஆர் பகவான்ஸ் தாட் லைக் ஹவு டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இட் லைக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் uh we wish to go to temple for example and all of a sudden we change our plan and we might wish to go to some other place so like so this thought of going to temple and not going to temple is whose decision like is it our decision or is it bhagavad gita or how to understand this is my question let's see the first question first when we do a particular action we have a particular thought in that example we want to go to the temple we prepare for it but somehow we change the plan and we don't go to the temple now in such actions who is the decision maker is it us or bhagavan so that is the first question for this question if we look at the purvacharya granthams there is specific um, explanation given for this particular situation uh, in tatvatrayam this particular aspect is explained uh, by pile lokacharya and uh, elaborated by manavara mamnigal in his commentary and there are also other purvacharyas uh, granthams previous to tatvatrayam where this particular this particular aspect is addressed uh, this is based on the concept of uh, prathama pravritti that is the first thought in every action so this particular uh, prathama pravritti that is the first uh, uh, thought or first step has to be taken by the individual bhagavan is the guiding force for every action of course he is the one who creates the entire universe he gives atma the um, body and senses he gives atma the chit shakti pravritti shakti and so on that is ability to uh, think ability to um, act and so on so he is the primary decision maker we can say because if he hadn't given any of that to an atma the atma would not be able to think and act he would just be in a subtle state just as in the uh, pralayam deluge but now that bhagavan has given all of these facilities he is able to uh, the atma is able to think and act now this thinking and acting this thinking itself is is influenced by many aspects one's own karma which is the main cause and also one's environment the environment in which the particular uh, atma is present and then once um influences whoever is influencing that person maybe the parents maybe the friends who are with them again some of these are also based on karma only so there are several aspects which influence the initiative from the jivatma so in that particular situation the jivatma has now been given the free will to think and act bhagavan has given free will to the jivatma so that the atma can himself think and act he is not like a robot where he is controlled by someone but the atma's free will is limited to the universe and the universal laws the atma cannot just because he has free will he cannot uh, walk over the universe or anything like that it is 
bound under the laws of the universe and his karma too he cannot think beyond his capacity if i have only 10000 rupees in my bank account <clears throat> i cannot plan for a 10 lakh rupees purchase so it has to be within the boundary of his punya papa but within all of this boundary the atma has free will to think and act now bhagavan makes um facilities he keeps guiding the atma from within to think in a good way and the atma sometimes accepts to bhagavan's suggestion and follows that some other times atma refuses bhagavan's suggestion and goes away and does something different so it is the atma who is deciding each an individual article in a specific way do bhagavan is giving up the setup <coughs> it is the atma who is making the individual choices now once the atma makes the choice to do a particular activity bhagavan reacts in different ways um first he remains a passive neutral person he lets the jivatma take the decision and proceed on it if the particular decision is a good decision good means it is good for the atma then bhagavan will facilitate it further he will improvise it he will take the atma through the uh, path further if the decision is bad then bhagavan will act according to again his situation his will sometimes if the person keeps choosing bad things bhagavan will push him down further sometimes if he is really pitiful he may help so it depends on uh, what the situation is but these are the different stages first bhagavan lets us choose and then he remains a neutral person watching us implement the action then he further sit depending on whether it is good or bad for the self this is how it is explained in general now in this particular uh, situation uh, good and bad we may not know exactly what is good or bad we have to follow um, shastram we have to follow our acharyas instructions guidance uh, to take appropriate decisions but general things like for example today today I decide to go to temple uh, it's a very uh, rough example but just to clarify what could be good or bad today i decide to go to temple but maybe uh, i change my intent in the last moment i just stay home and um, do something else maybe even materialistic thing let's say i i just read a book or i read newspaper or something like that i didn't go to temple now from outside we may think that this is good uh, this is not good <coughs> but maybe this is the good thing because maybe if we had gone to temple uh, the situation could have been that we might have gotten into an argument with some other bhagavata and committed some offenses right there in the temple itself which could have been worse for us so rather than that we just stayed home maybe it was bhagavan's um instigation or guidance which uh, made us choose the option which is probably considered not good so everything has um, a subjective perspective also in in all of these subjective and objective depending on how we look at it so i mean good and bad 
we cannot easily uh, decide just on the top of the things. We have to go inner and uh, find out the real reasons for that. But in general, if we are uh, taking the good path, that means we are accepting to Bhagavan's views and following him. And he is also helping us. And if it is, uh, if we keep uh, failing and if we keep uh, doing mistakes, that means we are taking things in our own hands and we are uh, going the wrong way. There is also another special aspect which is explained by Manavar Mamnigal uh, in the same uh, Tattvatrayam commentary that in some uh, individuals' cases, Bhagavan himself takes over all the responsibilities. For example, for persons like Prahlad Alwan or Namalwar, Bhagavan himself will ensure that they don't have to decide anything in their life. He will decide everything for them. He will take full responsibility of their life. Similarly, he will do for bad persons also. Some evil persons like Hiranyakashipu or Ravana, he will ensure that they keep doing mistakes and he will keep pushing them down because they are very cruel and they are committing grave mistakes towards Bhagavatas. So he keeps pushing them down. So these are very rare cases where he does take over the decision making for others. But in general, for individuals, he takes the uh, major responsibility of facilitating and he lets the individuals decide. That is how it is explained by Manavad Mamigal in Tattvatrayam commentary for Prilokacharya's work. Alvar Imperumanar Jiyar Thiruvadigale Sharanam Jiyar Thiruvadigale Sharanam To learn such valuable information about our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, please download Koyil K-O-Y-I-L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Our website is koyil.org. K-O-Y-I-L dot O-R-G.